Steve has some plug. This is a Connect 4 robot. Uh, the kids will play against it. This is actually made out of VexIQ parts. And so it, it will, uh, it's got three touch sensors so, it, it, uh, so they can select the column and uh, where they want to drop it. And then uh, after they drop the chip in, the robot will play its turn. And usually the robot wins. Oh, yep, the robot won. Robot just won that game. That was, a, that was a quick game. How does the robot know where to play after the, the human plays? The thing that happens with this is the robot knows where the chips have been dropped because it actually it's dropping all the chips in the board so it doesn't actually have to check and see where the chips are. It just knows where, where each chip has gone in so it keeps track of that. And sort of like playing blindfolded. It's just really good. It sees all the things. A lot of the times it wins with uh, Connect 4 that nobody sees because it, again, doesn't really miss those things. Right. Sort of evaluates the whole board, <laughs> sees where all the, win, all the possible wins are. It really just looks about four moves ahead, which is not very, very far as far as that goes. That's two moves for the robot and two moves for you. But then it does a really good job of evaluating all the possible wins so there's 69 ways you can win on this size board. And so it looks at those and says, uh, you know, every time you drop a chip in, how does that affect your wins or, or the robot's wins? And it compares those. The, uh, this particular robot probably took about a week to build. Uh, it's my, my second version uh, out of the VEX. So there's a couple things going on with it. Right now it's ready to, to start a game. So I can actually select if I want two player, but we'll just leave it at one player against a computer. And then we'll select the game. So now I can pick the column. So go ahead and pick a column and then hit the red button to drop the chip in. And now it shows blue because it's getting ready for the computer's turn. And then as soon as it's ready again, it'll let you pick another column. And he'll just pick his column and drop it in there. And then it just keeps going. And in, in just a little bit, it'll start flashing blue. That means the robot won. And then at the top here, you've got just just kind of drop down and dispense each so, piece. So that one's that one's probably the trickier part of the build. It's set up so that, uh, of course, one of the challenges with this kind of build is making it work with the the pieces that are not system pieces. So making it just the right size for the chips that it has to grab. Uh, it has the the wheel that will turn each time it drops a chip in. So first it turns to one direction to drop the red chips, and then it'll drop the turn the other direction to, to push out a black chip and then just the simple cartridge that holds the chips pretty straightforward with the one motor that that just tilts it actually has a sensor in it or it'll, it'll look at the rotation on the motor so if it tries to drop a chip in and the chip doesn't actually fall it'll it'll keep uh, keep trying to drop it until it actually falls in there uh, there we are at the end of the game it kind of shows on the screen I don't know how well you can see that Shows how many wins are left for the player and how many wins for the robot. And uh, all the sort of evaluation that it does for that. Okay. This is really neat. Does everything run fairly smoothly throughout the day or is there like upkeep you have to do on it? There's really not a lot that this requires. I, like I say, I've fine-tuned it a, a bit. Um, every once in a while it misses when it's trying to spit out a chip up here. Because again, getting this gap just right so that, so that just one chip comes out was one of the trickier parts of this. Getting it so that the, uh, the arms, when they go forward, when the, to, to push the chip out, so it goes just the right distance and everything. Uh, that was probably the trickiest part of it. This one's kind of refined. One of the things that it, it's set up so that two people can actually play against each other. I normally just play so somebody plays against a robot, but I had somebody ask one time if they could play without the robot which is kind of like playing Connect 4. <laughs> and so I went ahead and made one that where the, the robot drops all the chips in. And then, uh, so it's still kind of entertaining to play, even if you don't use the, the logic behind it. But then, uh, um, pretty, pretty simple as far as how it plays. Uh, the, the, I guess the tricky part is all the, the logic and how it evaluates the board. We get a lot of kids, you know, they pretty much line up here during the day and uh, 
Uh, one right after another.